So I come to you now, live. Not really. With no sleep. Um, I haven't slept at all last night. We're at SRD. We gonna remove the rear tail lights. Because we're gonna do something to those as well. So tail lights off and then I'm off. Back to Pretoria. Can't believe I forgot to take the tail lights out yesterday. I didn't forget, I just kinda thought about it. And we're painting, so I've never taken the tail lights out before. Let's see what happens. Step one. Remove these two bolts with a number 10 spanner. Hopefully it's this easy, huh? Imagine if that was the case. Next, you want to pull the light towards you. I use the small flat to push it out. If you try and wedge it out with a screwdriver, you will scratch your paint. In fact, using a screwdriver is actually pretty daft. If it's all you have access to, then it's best you wrap it up in something soft. A plastic panel pry tool would be the safest and easiest option. It's a good idea to put the bolts back so you don't lose them. Remove the push clip that powers the light. Be gentle, these do break. Then you're done. One down, three to go. Same story on the other side. Two number 10 bolts need to be removed. Then pull it out. Again, I'm using the screwdriver to push the light. If you use it as a wedge and a lever, you will damage your paint. Please don't use a screwdriver. It's risky and I was lazy. I blame the lack of sleep. Reinsert the bolts. Gently maneuver the push clip free. You may use a screwdriver here if you really want to. Now we get to the reverse light cluster mounted on the tailgate. Two number eight nuts need to be removed. <laughs> Golly! Again, do not use a screwdriver. The light will have to be plied out, but not yet, as I'm still to discover the third number eight nut that sits behind the back panel on the tailgate. Be very careful with this one. The potential to lose it in your tailgate is very high. Now you can pry the lights out. Using a screwdriver is stupidly risky. Then, off for the clip that powers your reverse light, and the cluster is yours. Same story on the other side. The worst thing that can happen now is you drop them under the car because the car doesn't see. Removing this clip before pulling the light proved much simpler. I got what I came for, so it's time to head back to Pretoria. I love this stage of a build. Only a petrol head can appreciate the purity of a car in the state. Do you know why? Because rally car. I have some cool ideas for the rear. Should look rather awesome by the time we're done. Now, before we leave, take a look at Willem's beautiful but filthy Hawk STI. Because rally car. Fully forged EJ25 with everything pretty much stock location. Then I came across this bumper trying to escape. How do you explain this to the guy behind you when it eventually comes loose? Talking about bumpers, I'm here to collect the one we'll be putting on the STI. This is one of four storage facilities we use to store cars and parts. 
definitely uses the exhaust system. Yup, it's the facelift bumper, or sedan bumper as known locally. Rat? DKW anyone? This car actually belongs to a good mate of mine, Gordon, the best fabricator I know. He's actually a very good panel beater and spray painter. However, his car might make you think differently. Honestly, I think it's kinda cool, and it never put me in a kinda way. So we get to Omegatron, where my homeboy daddy works only to see his godfather taking delivery of his W203 C55 AMG. My first car was a W203, not an AMG. But boy, do I love these. How dumb is your diff? Look mom, no hands. <laughs> Before we settled in at Omegatron to assess what I needed done, I had to visit G-Man who works right next door at ASE. I have a few Subaru specialists I highly respect. Jan Stein, the owner of Autosound Engineering, is definitely one of them. Feast your eyes. Every Subaru owner secretly wants a slightly riced fozza. Fact. The man of the hour, aka G-Man, working on a Trans Am. Finally, Omegatron closed their doors to the public. These six cylinders belong to two strange people who keep following me around. Brandon and Sean, the camera. That Mark IV Golf that has fallen lower than the Rand belongs to Dashputo, a spray painter with extraordinary talent. Dashputo did the spray work on this Cleo's bumper and wing. Crazy RF install done here by Dula from ASG, Auto Sound Gazina. Man of the moment, Dario Goche. Dash Puto. So we finally got to my friend's shop. We got you at three o'clock. And it is now, quarter past seven and we've done nothing. The reason we've done nothing is because he said my car is too rice that I must take it home. No, I'm joking. Daddy, do you want to explain? Do you want to explain? Do you want to say hi to everyone? How's it, guys? Look, there you are, in short. Say hi. <laughs> Sean, you want to say hi? Hi, guys. <laughs> Slowest man in the group, Brandon. Slowest. <laughs> Slowest. Do you want to go race your brother? No, fine. I need my shot. 
<laughs> Sorry. What's up, guys? So he's the spray painter. He makes hobblies and he gets water. But why are we not painting these today? The reason why we're not spraying these bumpers today, okay, is they crept all over the show. That's okay. No, it's not okay. You're stupid. Anyways, first you can come check here. The bumper has been repaired before. No, that's okay. No one was. So it's cracking, as you can see. Well, if you do that. As you can see, it's cracking here. Uh, it's cracking out uh, by the toe cover. Is it cracking it? There's cracks there. What if you look at the pipe? No. So they're going to get prepared during the week. We're going to prepare them. Fix all these cracks, especially over the front one. What's wrong with the front one? There's. The diesel told me the front one was good to be painted. No, it is. It's cracking where it's been repaired there, and it's cracking over there. You can see. Snap. And, the, and the bumper is full of scratches. Yeah, but if you paint that, the scratches go away, don't they? Okay, shut up. I've been caught. I've been caught by my wing. What we're going to do is, we're going to fix all these cracks, these scratches, and we're going to smooth this out. Yeah, that's going to look cool. And we're going to close these off. And we're going to close these holes. This is going to be completely smooth. No number plates. We don't need that. Shit. Number plates are for? Losers. Yeah, that's basically it. So when you say we're painting next weekend? Yeah, right, maybe next weekend we're going to... We're gonna spray. Like I said, we're gonna have it prepared this this week.